Hi everybody, it's Dandruff, and welcome to my coverage of the Sony conference at E3 2017. Right away, PlayStation View, their streaming service. I'm not really sure why they're showing it. It's not exactly new. Oh, wonderful advertisements. I mean, I know that E3 is just a big ad parade anyway, but this is a little explicit, don't you think? And straight into hippie music. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like this, but I don't know where this is going or what game this is related to. I mean, this is cool, the fountain and everything is cool, but where is this going? What could this be? This is an Uncharted game, and right here there was a little bit of audio trouble, I really couldn't tell what was going on. And then right away I recognized this as Horizon Zero Dawn, so it's confirmed that DLC is coming for the game. Onto a guy riding a motorcycle, and he ends up getting ambushed and into an extremely intense fight. Sorry to spoil it, but he does end up overtaking them, only to walk into a bunch of bodies hanging upside down. They then hung actors from the ceiling at E3 that looked the same and it gave me a chill. It was a little bit too immersive. <laughs> Really good. Nice nice effect. We were just walked through a mission for the game Days Gone that was also advertised last year. At first, I thought this next one was a Final Fantasy game, but I jumped the gun and I was totally wrong. All of a sudden, it's dino hunting time, and this guy tries to take down a dinosaur that's about 10 times his size. Wow, I did not expect a Monster Hunter game. Monster Hunter World by Capcom, of course. It's odd to see a Monster Hunter game on PlayStation, because usually that's a Nintendo thing. And this is delightful. Obviously, this is is Shadow of the Colossus, a remaster coming to us sometime in 2018. Here's one that I'm really looking forward to, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Good transition there, Sony. And then the icing on the cake was Rocket Raccoon with that one line. Oh, it's so funny. Call of Duty World War II was the next game that Sony had to show off. This cinematic makes the game look great. It's really nice to see COD going in a different direction than futuristic shooters, even though I like futuristic shooters. I haven't played this next one, but I know that music all too well. This is Skyrim VR, and I'm really surprised we didn't hear about this during the Bethesda conference. Here we have a new IP, something I have not seen before, and a VR platformer, a genre you don't see too often. Starchild is its name, and no release window was mentioned. From Supermassive Games, the makers of Until Dawn, we are taken to a hospital with the inpatient. Not much is really shown here for this one. And, uh, a fishing VR game? Oh, it's a Final Fantasy 15 fishing game. And I mean, I've seen a lot crazier franchises slapped on more obscure games. Team Bravo is another VR game that they played a really quick trailer for and didn't explain much, so we're forced to move on. Into a forest with a little mouse? Oh my god, he's so cute! He's got that little gauntlet! This is a game called Moss. Not really sure why it's called Moss, but it is a VR game, and it's really nice to see Sony trying different genre for VR. Next, we don't hear anything, and we don't see anything until we do see something and it's not much until Kratos. God of War is not a franchise that I've played, but like many other games, I love the way it looks, and I know that this is a very respected series. Besides, you have to respect a god, or he'll rip you in half just like this. God of War coming sometime in 2018. Then we have one of those games that I've been keeping my eye on since last E3, Detroit Become Human. A futuristic setting where cyborgs walk among people. Finally, we get to see a bit of how the gameplay will work. It appears there will be many different choices that the player can make in order to determine the outcome and continue the story. I love cyber punk settings, and the idea of artificial intelligence politics, such as the inspiration to this game, Ghost in the Shell. They didn't even put a date on it, that's a shame. Bungie is up next, which means Destiny 2. I'm pretty excited for this game because I was not able to play the first because it never came to PC. September 6th for PS4 and Xbox One, still no release date has been mentioned for PC. And then, some sort of game that they had to bring out a whole extra screen to show it. Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, and it's gonna be exclusive to PS4. Sadly to say, but the first thing I noticed about this trailer is how visually down graded it's going to be just like an Ubisoft game. There is no way that it's going to look this good on launch. Prove me wrong, Sony! That one too is coming in 2018. And then we are greeted by a pretty cool PlayStation graphic with all the controller symbols. That begins the montage and I have a feeling it's the end of the show. Yep, that's it. I thought they had a little more, but nope. As always, don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and click over here to view the Nintendo conference, which is the last one for E3 2017.